Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. This just came across my desk and actually I'm having to sort of copy it from my phone and put it on here to show it to you because there I can't find on the phone, unfortunately, the URL is hidden and I can't find it on SpaceX's main webpage yet. But this is super exciting. This is an announcement. It says SpaceX to launch Inspiration4 mission to orbit. And I'm going to read it off my phone because it's a little bit clearer on there than it is here. Sorry about that. But I wanted to get this out as fast as possible. Um, anyway, let me take a look at this real quick, <laughs> if it can load it up. So anyway, they talk a lot about, about you know what SpaceX has done and et cetera, et cetera. And then they get to the good stuff here. So essentially what's going to happen is that they are in the fourth quarter of this year planning on launching a Falcon 9 that's going to be entirely commercial. In other words, there will be no you know, professional astronauts on board, it's going to be only a crew of us. <laughs> and actually, really honestly, could be us. And I'm more excited about that than anything else. And believe me, I'm planning on applying for this or doing something along those lines. Um, anyway, so let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, Jared, yeah, let me see if I can get this right. <laughs> I want to make sure I get this correct. So Jared Isaacman, founder and CEO of Shift4 Payments, is donating the three seats alongside him aboard the Dragon to individuals from the general public who will be announced in the weeks ahead. Learn more on how to potentially join this historic journey in space by going to inspiration4.com. So there you go. It's going, there will be training involved. So you're going to get uh, orbital mechanics, operating in microgravity, zero gravity, other forms of stress testing. You go through emergency preparedness training, spacesuit and spacecraft ingress and egress exercises, as well as partial and full mission simulations. I mean, seriously, <laughs> how could this get any better than this? <laughs> and then at the end, amazingly enough, I kind of figured this would be like a one and done, like they'd take you up, you'd orbit the earth once and come back. But this apparently is going to be a multi-day uh, journey orbiting Earth every 90 minutes along a customized flight path, which I assume means it's probably going to be kind of out of the way of most other things in space so that it won't be getting in the way of anybody else doing professional work up there. And upon conclusion of the mission, unsurprisingly, Dragon will re-enter Earth's atmosphere for a soft water landing off the coast of Florida. So how about that? That is potentially nine, ten months from now, we could have like you or me or somebody could be up in space with uh, just I, I kind of <laughs> I'm sort of dealing with this as I'm saying this. Uh, so Jared Isaacman, first of all, thank you so much for being as incredible as you obviously are to donate the other seats to the general public rather than letting other people purchase them or, you know, giving it to your family or something. I, I think that's really, really commendable as a symbol be for the very first commercial crew program space craft trip <laughs> non-astronaut i don't even know what to say about that it's uh we will be astronauts i mean whoever gets up there will become astronauts but non-professional astronauts so obviously there have been people who have paid multiple millions of dollars i think it was somewhere between 25 and 40 million dollars to go to space um tito is his last name oh i'm totally blanking but anyway he was the first one went up with the uh with the russian soyuz mission and and spent some time on the space station but that was a great deal of money and obviously us normal human beings who don't have millions and tens of millions of dollars around there's no way that we would ever be able to go on a trip like that and this is a completely different ball game. I, I actually am rather curious how much each of these seats is costing him. Uh, you know, not that I could ever afford that, but you know, if we, if let's say it's three million or four million dollars a seat, as opposed to forty million dollars a seat, that makes. <laughs> there's a lot of Tesla millionaires now who have been newly minted who could probably actually use their Tesla money to be able to afford to go to space if the cost was down by a factor of 10 or something from what it was before. And that's quite possible given the fact that these Falcons are now being reused, the Crew Dragons are reusable, etc. I think this is also a brilliant move on SpaceX's part. I mean, talk about a way to steal Virgin Galactic's thunder. Talk about a really big way to screw Jeff Bezos. In fact, mm, I'm almost wondering, you know, this whole FAA brouhaha that's happened in the last few days with Starship Serial Number 9 and it not being able to launch. There's, you know, conspiracy theories that Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin have had something to do with that by poking at the FAA to change their tactics or to put a slowdown on all this. 
Uh, also, there's been evidence, apparently, that a big chunk of it flew into Mexico, so there very well could be an international incident going on right now. But it all seems a little shady, because usually the FAA is very, very upfront, and they, they broadcast what they're doing. And if they're going to be doing an investigation, they would say immediately, we're doing an investigation, and this is what we need, and this is how long it's going to take, and these are the results, and this is what SpaceX is going to have to do to fix the problems in the future. None of that has happened. So... You know, if perchance, <laughs> if perchance uh, SpaceX, Elon Musk, Glenn Shotwell, etc., have decided to um, perhaps preemptively go after the likes of Blue Origin, and I, I feel bad actually, Virgin Galactic is probably just caught in the crosshairs. I actually really respect Richard Branson and what he's doing with Virgin Galactic, and I think it's a wonderful idea, and it looks like it's going to be a fantastic trip. And, you know, not that I personally can afford it, but it certainly brings it down into the realm of what you know, middle class people could afford potentially. Uh, but anyway, certainly this is going to put the screws to companies like Virgin Galactic and um, Blue Origin because they're looking at just like boop, like that little hops. And what this is instead is a multi-day trip. Now I could see SpaceX eventually toning this down perhaps to maybe like three orbits, like what John Glenn did, go up, do a few orbits, like a little half day trip or something and come back Maybe they can get that down into the, you know, million to two million dollar range. Again, none of this stuff is anything that I will ever be able to afford. But how amazingly exciting that this is happening at all. How amazingly exciting that it could be happening with any of our neighbors, right? This is this is apparently available and open to the public. I'm so excited. And you better believe as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going on to inspiration4.com and I'm going to be signing up as much as I can. Uh, by the way, just as a small side note... <laughs> I am still apparently an astronaut candidate with NASA. They have been delaying and delaying and delaying their decision-making process this year because of the pandemic. And so I keep expecting to get cut at any moment, but so far I haven't been so, you know. <laughs> I still am an astronaut candidate as of right now. But anyway, I will definitely be going to inspiration4.com and I'm going to be checking this out. You know, I would I would highly suggest if you are have an interest in doing this yourself and you're not afraid of heights and roller coasters and putting your life in your hands a little bit <laughs> or sitting on top of a giant explosive and taking off into space. You know, if that floats your boat, then you should definitely take a look too. I'm super excited. As you can tell, uh, sorry if this is a little bit loose, I'm just kind of reacting to this as I saw it. I was like, Oh my gosh, this is the best news I've seen in quite a while. Super excited. Here's hoping that somebody we all know, maybe Tim, Do Tim Dodd, if I can't go, Tim Dodd could go, right? The everyday astronaut. What an incredible journey that would be for him to be able to go into space with all of these people. So thank you to SpaceX. Thank you to Jared Isaacman. Um, and wow, let's just see how it goes. All right, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely make sure you like it so other people can find it because that's really important. And also subscribe if you want to see more of this. And of course, feel free to ask me questions in the comments or at my email address, which is knows at gmail.com. I just realized it's not going to show up there. You're going to have to look in the description. I just uh, I just realized since I'm doing this all basically live, it's just going to be not there. But anyway, in the description, it says knows at gmail.com. All righty, till next time. Bye-bye.